that's it. If you're looking to teach your dog how to sit, you come to the right place. I'm hoping this is the first trick you're teaching your dog. Odds are it is. This is a great trick for teaching your dog a good attention span, getting them prepped for many of the tricks to come, which we'll be doing a whole series of tricks, so I'll link it down below. First thing with a sit is to make sure you have a nice calm environment when you're first starting this trick. That's important for most tricks. You're gonna want your dog's recall to be pretty good. I'm gonna link the how to get your dog to come video because that should be one of the first tricks you're teaching your dog even for sit. So now let's work on how to get them to sit. This is a great trick just for overall obedience. I'm gonna start with Hart here. She's a three-year-old Japanese. We love her dearly, but she does have Pyrenees in her, so obedience is not her strong suit. That said, Pyrenees are proof that you can train dog tricks even if they're not necessarily catered to it. First thing you're gonna do with a sit is get them attentive to you. So I'm gonna walk Hart forward a little bit since she's very familiar with this trick. In fact, sitting is the way that they generally start any trick. So they tend to start with it when they see me and they know I'm doing anything with any treats whatsoever. Good girl, Hart. Okay, so as you can see, she's kind of leaning her head up. And so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with a dog, a puppy, is kind of get their nose, get them moving like this, and then you'll bring it up. And my, my dogs know this as sit, I because you're holding the treat, so it's kind of natural just to do like a knuckle situation. Good girl, good sit. If you're struggling with this and your dog tends to just go back, you're just gonna wanna teeter back and forth with them. So if I were to ask her to sit and she wasn't doing it and she was just like walking backwards like that, then <clears throat> what you would want to do is bring them back forward, create forward movement, and then try one more. And I also recommend doing a slight foot forward. If you have a young puppy, keep in mind that puppies struggle to lay down on their, sit on their butt when they're very young. Their muscles aren't good at holding their posture upright like this, so they tend to slide out into kind of like a lay down position. So be aware of that and maybe pick like a carpet or something just to set them up for success. They have plenty of traction for practicing this new trick. When your dog is first learning new tricks, they may have a smaller attention span. I recommend getting a clicker. These will help you identify their positive behavior right away. The fact that I have a Pyrenees here shows you that you don't need to have in a super obedient breed like a German Shepherd to get good results with your dogs. I hope these tips were helpful for you. Leave any comments down below if you have suggestions for other people on sit or if you have questions about sit and I'm sure we can help you down below. I wish you the best of luck. When in doubt, love it out. We'll see you in the next one.